Always good. As the G20 economic summit wraps up in Mexico this afternoon, President Obama and other world leaders are set to call for more efforts to improve economic growth and to create new jobs. On Monday, Mr. Obama met with Russian President Vladimir Putin to discuss several issues, including the uprising in Syria. Nora O'Donnell is traveling with the president in Los Cabos, Mexico. Nora, what do we know about Putin and Obama? Well, good morning. It was their first face-to-face -face meeting since Vladimir Putin regained power, and the meeting lasted nearly two hours. As one top advisor to the president said, they started talking about Syria, and they didn't want to stop talking about Syria. But it was so interesting in their remarks after their meeting, the two men barely looked at each other. You could just feel sort of the tension between them, and the body language really represented how far apart the two leaders remain on the issue of Syria. Now, they said that they both support some political transition, but it's clear that President Obama did not get an agreement from Russian President uh, Putin to push uh, Bashar al-Assad out of power. That's what the U.S. wants. They think that's the way to end the violence in Syria. And interestingly, apparently, President Obama got a bit of a lecture from Putin about some other failed transitions that are going on around the world. The issue for Russia, of course, they've blocked two U.N. Security Council resolutions, is that they have an important strategic foothold in Syria. That is their one foothold in the Middle East. It's the port there and the port of Tardis. Uh, U.S. intelligence officials believe that there is already a ship on the way to that that port carrying some um, attack helicopters that could be used to um, silence the opposition. We've also learned there are other two ships in the Black Sea, a Russian port that may be headed to Syria with some arms and ammunition. So this is heating up. That meeting was clearly very tense. It's not clear how productive the meeting was in the end, Charlie.